this is last night but i just wanted to show you this i love it look every night i put their special tea in and then i give them loads and loads of hay and lovely always gets right in the middle of it and eats it <laughs> look she's covered herself up she does it every single night mind your eye i'm gonna to have to check that aren't i in the morning make sure you haven't got hay poke Ooh, we don't want that again she had hay poke when she first came to to live with us when she was a tiny tiny baby horrible i think it's has it gone oh no wonder look at her patsy's having a massive treat she's got a bit of carrot there's their tea it's mixed in with hay so that they have fun looking for it don't give them bowls. I know I've told you this before. Well, I don't know if I've told you this before, but I don't give them bowls for a few reasons. Because it's fun for them to find their food. And also, I read that it's really, really uncomfortable for them to put pressure on just their back legs. So it's much better for them to forage about on the ground and find their food than it is to lean up and try and get out of a bowl. Probably a load of crap. You don't know who writes these things, do you? But I don't want them getting bad, bad legs and sore legs. Oh, they look nice and cosy, don't they? Right, I'm going to go to bed now, girls. See you in the morning. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Mother. Have you got the goods? You got the money. Well, I have got the money, but it's different money this morning. Would you accept a gold bar? I would. All right, thank you, you very go. much. I've got, oh, I've made a hole in it. Oh. We'll open it up. Here we are. This is today's receivings. So, Johnny, explain it. It's what does it say? Come in and know me better, man. Um, well, that's what that's the first thing that the goes to Christmas present says to Scrooge. Oh, okay. It's our stay free. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, I'm back from the Christmas fair, so I just thought I'd show you, what do they call it? My haul. <laughs> so I've got this Christmas picture, James bought it for me for Christmas. These lovely little kids, look, they're on the phone to Father Christmas. Look, that's what they're asking for, and he's getting to him, and he's thinking, God, that's a lot of stuff. I've got some lovely Florentines. Oh, they look nice, don't they? Hello, Doug, stop sniffing about. I've got some handmade... Uh, oh, mince pies and a little local bakery now this was a stall which had food with an oriental twist so this is a scotch egg but it's got quail's egg in the middle and then it's got some prawns and lemongrass and stuff like that and this is a black pepper beef pie very nice then we got um, four slabs of fudge, two salted caramel, one triple decker and one gingerbread. And then we've got six of these donuts. That's mine. That's a salted caramel one. Meg's is Nutella. That one's for everybody to share. That's James's. That is um, raspberry and amaretto. That's Johnny's. And that's Lizzie's. That's a smarty one with chocolate in the middle. And then for the dogs, and they can smell it, we've got them some... Sausages. I hear what I said. I'm going to have to check how hard they are, though. Look. Yeah, they're a bit hard. I don't know if I'll be able to give them to Lillian. I'll have to break them up into little bits. So that's my haul, guys. I'm under a blanket with a lovely special favourite, a Florentine. Oh, and Uncle Simon's under here as well. We're going to watch the qualifying for the Grand Prix and do a lot of knitting. Then after this, we're going to watch a Boy Called Christmas or Boy Named Christmas, one or the other. And then we're going to catch up with last night's I'm a Celebrity. What a fantastic day. This is my Dennis. He's never, ever been a cuddly dog. Like Lillian is all over me like a bad rash. But this dog here, he's never cuddled until he hurt his leg. And now he won't leave me alone. Den. What's happened? Have you decided that it's really good after all, all this lovely cuddling? Because it is, isn't it? He's embarrassed. Dennis, your biscuits. 
chocolates. No, you're not allowed chocolates. Uh, bones. Breakfast. <laughs> he's lovely. He's gone grey. He used to be like um, he used to have really, really black fur all over his face. He's gone grey. Suits your den. You know what they call boys with grey hair? Silver fox. That's what you are. Hello. Just waiting for James again. He's through there. I don't know what he does. We've got something a bit different again tonight, so I'll show you in a moment. I haven't done a lot today, really. The film that I thought that I had downloaded, I had, or not downloaded, recorded, I'd actually recorded the channel for two hours with it saying the message, to watch this film, you need to upgrade your subscription. <laughs> so it's quite disappointing when we put it on and realised that we couldn't watch it, so we watched Half of Christmas instead. And I fell asleep, so did James. He's gonna have to bring us a knife through when he comes. I've had my, what are you doing Lillian? She's been such a scavenger. I've had my, what are you doing? I've had my donut, I've had one of those uh, mince pies. I've had some fudge. And I've had a Florentine. This is greasy, this plate. What did we last have off of it? What are you doing down there? She's licking the chair leg, which is weird. What are you doing? You're just licking the chair leg, James. Mm -hmm. something's... What the hell is that? Oh, no. Could be anything in this bloody house. Hey, can you bring us a knife, please? Oh, yes, I am. Who's here now? Mm -hmm. I don't know what Lillian is up to. <laughs> so, like I said, I've got something a little bit different tonight. We've managed to get hold of some festive pies from McDonald's and they've actually sent us the proper things tonight, haven't they? Yeah. So, it's a festive it's pie. Oh, I know, so. freezing. Festive pie with mincemeat and custard. Last time, that's going to be ever so loud for people with headphones Sorry. on. Last time we ordered these, they sent us apple pies, didn't they, James? Yep. So I'll put this on the list. I believe that these have got mincemeat up one end and custard up the other. So I'm going to chop mine in half and examine it. Promo pie. It was made on the 11th of the 12th at 16.37 and they have to chuck it out at 18.07 on the same day. You can't get up here, Dennis. You be careful. Of course you can. Yeah, well, you lift him. Mind his body. His foot just clicked then. Oh, darling. Here he is. He's a brave soldier. Right, so if you've never had a pie from McDonald's before, they come like this. <laughs> People are going to think we're so unhealthy. I don't really mind, James. It is Christmas. He can't stay up here, James, for this because I'm cooking. <laughs> I'm chopping things up. Right, let's have a look, see if my theory is correct. I'm wrong. So, Ooh. there's not very much mincemeat. Nice. Now, why have I done that? That looks bloody awful. Look, so that's what's in the middle. Actually, it looks quite nice. It's got, it has got custard up either end with mincemeat in the middle, but I thought it was all up one end. Right, do you want to share mine or do you uh, think you can have a whole one? I don't know. I'll have a whole one because that one's all. We done. I heard something drop then. Get her down, they're not allowed mincemeat, James. Okay. Mm. I love it. I like the mincemeat, I like the custard, I like the unhealthy batter on the outside. It does feel unhealthy, doesn't it? It's lovely though, isn't it, darling? Oh, I really like it. Mmm. Well, 
Yep, I like it a lot. Tastes like donuts at the beach. Do you know what I mean? I do know what you mean, but I don't agree with you at all. It does. That's this because bit. you've just had the top bit. You've just had crunch only. You haven't got to the <laughs> middle yet. I think when you get to the middle bit, you're going to completely take all that nonsense back that you've just said. Do you know what Johnny said? He said, um, you know he's doing the descriptions of the... Cool, we are festive tonight, James, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Um, you know he's doing the bits about the Christmas carol wool that I've got, the advent. He said to me, I think them old people are going to appreciate me using the word stave. Old people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's so cheeky. Yeah, so I hope you appreciate him saying that, you old people out there. Would you say stave? Yeah. Right then. Oh, look at these two scavengers. I don't know what's the matter with them today. Ever since I gave them one of those treats from the um, Christmas fair, it's turned them crazy. Right, what do you score this? I loved it's it. Not that high. Really? Well, you wolfed it back, James. I'm trying to count how many mince pies we've eaten. There's been six in each one, haven't there? Yeah, but we've also had extras, haven't we? Because yeah. we had another box of those Tesco Finest ones yesterday. And I've thought about it, you know? I've given it a 9.75 and I said I don't know what could make it better to make it into a 10, and I do now. Imagine if it had a little bit of brandy butter piped onto the top. I can't remember which ones you're on. <clears throat> the ones we had yesterday. Oh, the ones we've had yeah. four more of. <laughs> Imagine if we had, if that had like some thick buttercream on the top or something like that that would make it better so that's why i cannot award it a 10. i'm going to give these a seven point no but what would make this better it's too greasy hmm. <laughs> what are you going to do what are you going to give it's it that's the lowest You've given, I'd say five. You've given a 6.5? Yeah. It's not really a mince pie though, is it? Well, it's not really. So now I'm going to give it a seven then. Huh? That's going to come out the lowest. It's like a deep fried mince pie. I don't, I don't, it doesn't deserve lowest. So I'm going to give it a 7.5 because I do like it. So I'm going to give it a 12.5. Now tomorrow... We've, we've got to go, go and do some more shopping, James. So we need Asda, Co-op, Lidl, price. Aldi and Morrisons. Didn't we buy some today? We haven't been to any of those shops today. No, we went to a Christmas fair. Too personal. No, but didn't we buy some? We've got any more mince pies tonight. I've already had mine. Uh, what was that other stuff we bought? The round stuff? Mm. I had one of those as well, Florentines. Mm, nice. mm. Cool. Cool. I'm going to set my straddle and I'm not going to do a lot of spudling tomorrow, James. <laughs> what does any of that mean? Spudling? <laughs> I'm not doing much spudling either. <laughs> What's spudling? You can't say ridiculous <laughs> stuff like that to me. Set your straddle and you do spuddling. Liz? She's Mom's upstairs. not doing any spuddling tomorrow. <laughs> What's spuddling? It's, well, what before. I did yesterday was spuddling. What? what? Where? You feel, I think it means that you're not making any progress on something. Hmm. I've been spuddling all day. I've done it. <laughs> day off. You'd spuddled like hell this morning, you did, didn't you? Right. When you sat watching Chocolate Chef of the Year that's or what whatever it was. To be, that's Netflix. exactly what Netflix. I was supposed to be doing. Well, 
Grand Prix tomorrow and I'm going to get an old t-shirt. I really like this. I might upgrade it to an 8, you know. No, I'm not going to go crazy. I can't possibly think what you were about to say. You're going to get an old t-shirt. I'm going to get an old t-shirt and I'm going to get a Sharpie out of the kitchen and I'm going to write do not disturb until 3 o'clock on the front of it. Of course, it's the Grand Prix. There's three of us. Just tell us. You haven't got a t-shirt on. A bit drastic. People don't take any notice, though. I'll Somebody will want something. I might send them a text. If they come down, I'm just going to go. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's... And I'll do it to you as well. Smart. Oh. What a message. Right. I think that better do, James. Okay. Yeah, so tomorrow we will try um, one of the other ones we've got over there. Should we try that single one? Yeah, we'll try the single walkers one tomorrow, everybody. And I've had some pictures of the ones, a picture from a lady who has had the ones that you can get from Amazon in America. Yeah, that's the they top are one, the Yeah, they are the same. Different packaging, but the mince pies look the same. The pattern on the top is the same, so... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't, that's where I put a fleece stuff on yesterday. Oh, God. oh my goodness face. me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know, everybody. What do people say? It's like a madhouse in here. It is like a madhouse. Oh, I haven't opened my jam. Should we do that now and then I'll go? What are we on? 11? Oh. Rhubarb. Oh, to put your heart and soul into getting these out. Rhubarb and strawberry. Lovely. I'll have that on a bagel tomorrow whilst I'm watching the Grand Prix. Did you wipe your lips? Yeah. Are you still doing it? Yeah, I'll just open my rhubarb and strawberry. You should try the other half of that pie that I had, James. That beef and pepper mm -hmm. one. I'm maybe late. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow everybody. Don't expect any footage at all between the hours. So the footage, the um, Coverage of the Grand Prix starts at half past 11, so I won't be doing anything between then and when it finishes. I'm going to have my t-shirt on. Right, see you tomorrow. Bye.